In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the steps on how to set up a Google Pixel Watch 2. But starting off here, I'm gonna open up the manual. And we can see to get started, you wanna unlock your phone and turn on Bluetooth. Press and hold the crown on your watch for three seconds. Then follow the steps on your phone to finish setup. So on our phone, we wanna make sure that we have Bluetooth turned on. So scrolling down from the top, I can see that in this area right here, my Bluetooth is toggled to the on position. So we're good there. And you also wanna make sure that you have the Google Pixel Watch application. I have it right here. If you don't already have it downloaded and installed, you can look up the Google Pixel Watch app in the Google Play Store, download and install it to get that watch application. Now at this point, we're gonna be turning on the Google Pixel Watch 2. And it'll take a little bit of time for it to initially launch here. And it's going through its initial boot up phase. And it took a little over a minute for it to go through its initial boot up phase, but eventually it gets us to this screen here where it shows us that it wants us to pair the watch with our smartphone. So to do this, I'm gonna open up the watch application and then I'm gonna click on this watch icon here in the upper left hand corner. And then down here, I'm gonna click on where it says add watch and then continue and then going through and accepting the terms of service. And then it says, choose a watch to be managed by Google Pixel Watch. So my Google Pixel Watch 2 is showing up right here. So I'm going to select that. And then it's gonna start the pairing process. And it's gonna pair over Bluetooth, the codes match up. So I'm gonna check this box right here and then click pair. And it's now connecting to my watch. Then it's asking me to sign in with my Google account. So this will allow me to use Google apps, download new apps, and use Find My Device. So I can click sign in and go through this process. And then it's gonna sign me into my Google account. And I'm gonna be copying my Google accounts to my watch. So I'm gonna click on copy. Then you can look over the additional legal terms and disclosures. And if you want, you can learn how to switch out the bands. It's the same process on the new Google Pixel Watch as what's on the previous one. Setting the watch orientation, it's gonna be on my left wrist and the crown is gonna be on the right hand side. So that's all good to go. So I can click continue. And I'm coming over from my old Google Pixel Watch where I did use the free version of Fitbit. You get a lot of functionalities just using the free options in that app. So I recommend utilizing what you can get from the free version of Fitbit or otherwise you can also get the premium version. So I'm gonna set this up by clicking continue. And after going through a few menu pages, you get to this page where it says ready to connect to Fitbit. So to do this, you're gonna open up the Fitbit application. If you don't already have it, you can download and install it. But like I said, I'm coming over from a previous Google Pixel Watch where I've already set this up. So I do have the Fitbit app. So I'm gonna click where it says open Fitbit. And I'm gonna be replacing my old device with this new one. So I'm gonna click on where it says replace with Google Pixel. Connect Google Pixel Watch 2 to the Fitbit app. You can read over this information and if you agree with it, you can click agree at the bottom. And then it's connecting Fitbit up with my new Google Pixel Watch. And it is now connected up with the Fitbit app so I can click done. The Google Pixel Watch 2 comes with six months Fitbit premium membership. So if you'd like, you can sign up for this option to get a six month free trial. But if you don't wanna do this, you can exit out here at the top. And then we can click continue. And then it's going over the safety features, so you can look over those and continue. You're also gonna have Google Assistant, of course, hooked up with your Pixel Watch, so we can click continue there. If you want a lock screen on your watch face, you can set that up with either a pattern or a pin, but I don't like having a lock screen on my watch, so I'm gonna skip this. Now the benefit to setting up a lock screen on your Pixel Watch is then you can also use the feature of using a payment method through Google Pay on your Pixel Watch. So if you'd like to set up that feature, you can do so, but I don't use this feature with the Pixel Watch, so I'm gonna skip this. And if you want, you can go through and set up which apps you'd like to use with your watch. Otherwise, you can skip this by clicking not now and you can go in later and see which apps that you'd like to set up. Then it's gonna check for updates and download and install them on your Pixel Watch. And it says waiting for watch to charge. So while this is going on, I'm gonna plug in and charge the Google Pixel Watch 2. So with this charger, we have these pins on the back that are gonna line up and kind of magnetize to the watch. And then you can plug the other side into USB-C for charging. And I actually just plugged it straight into my phone. And once it's plugged in, it now says that it's downloading the update. And then after downloading, it'll verify and then the system update will install. And then after installing the update, it's going to go through an optimization process that'll take a little bit of time. And then the watch will go through a restarting process. The setup process is now complete. The watch is most likely gonna restart. And then at this point, we can click done at the bottom. 
And this is gonna take us over to the Pixel Watch app itself that is set up with our watch. We can go through and look at all the different settings and change them how we like. We can see right here at the top some of the more important things, which is watch faces, however you want your Pixel Watch to look, you can customize it in that area. And then also different Pixel Watch faces have different settings in them to show you things like your heart rate, the weather, depending on what watch face you select, there's more options with that than others. You can also check out the tiles of your Pixel Watch and set those up how you want them. And these are gonna be what you see when you swipe back and forth along the different pages of your Google Pixel Watch. And if we continue to scroll down here, you can set up different things such as your notifications, your accounts, how you want Fitbit set up. And then if we open up the Google Play Store, that'll give us access to all the different apps that we can add to our Google Pixel Watch. And I recommend going through these different settings and getting your watch set up exactly how you want it to run. But that'll end this one here. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your new Google Pixel Watch 2 out of the box. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.